Hey everyone, it's Jamie here. And today I'd like to share with you some tips about looking good on video. So video is becoming increasingly important in your business and in the online space. So I will often get asked, well, Jamie, how do you make it look so easy to be on video? And how do you always look so good on video? And it has taken a lot of trial and error to get there. So today I'm going to share with you just some of those ninja tips that help elevate your game when it comes to video. So first and foremost, I think it's really important to mention that as you are doing video, if you are going to be recording in the same place all the time to create a certain backdrop that is in alignment with the colors of your brand. Now, it does not have to be exactly the same, but you want to create something that has this cohesiveness to it so that it matches your brand or looks similar to your brand or has that vibe of your brand. That's first and foremost, one of the most important things that I feel like is really, really important when it comes to making sure that your video looks good, making sure you look good on video. The second tip that I have is to create a video uniform for yourself. So oftentimes on video, you will see me either in a t-shirt or with a t-shirt and a blue laser. Um, I kind of rotate through those two things. And that is my uniform that I use every single time that I am on video. And I do that again to create that consistent and cohesive look across all of my videos and YouTube videos that I create. And it's really, really important. And it's a subtle thing but it makes a big difference in elevating your professionalism when it comes to being on video. The third thing, and this is a little bit different of a ninja tip for me, but I think it's really important to talk about because one of the ways in which I feel like I've really been able to up my game when it comes to looking good on video is using a face primer and if you're a dude that's listening, yes, I highly recommend these for dudes as well. Um, two of my favorites are this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this Lancer Studio Perfecting Primer. I share this because these are really good at just kind of like evening out any flaws or blemishes or anything that you might have, acne or whatever, and making you look really even on video. Now, I am not one to wear a ton of makeup, so oftentimes I will just use this on my face, but it makes a huge difference in how you show up professionally. And if you look at, say, TV anchors, they wear a ton of makeup to give them that flawless skin look and it starts with a really, really solid primer. And again, I know that's a little bit weird <laughs> of a ninja tip coming from me, but I really do believe that it makes a big difference. So find one that works for your skin. Both of these are translucent, so it you don't have to pick it to match your skin tone. And they do a really, really good job at just creating like a photo finish <laughs> in terms of your skin. And I'll be sure to put the links to those products inside the description. My fourth ninja tip is lighting. So lighting is something that you have to play around with. And for me, I have experimented with lighting in all different areas of my office at all different times of the day in all different angles with different cameras and different pieces of technology and lots of different options. And so what I encourage you to do is to grab the device that you want to use to record your videos, whether you're doing a live or you're doing something pre-recorded like this, experiment. Try in the morning, try in the afternoon, try with the flash on, without the flash on, try it with your ring light. Get the lighting right because once you get the lighting right, it makes a massive difference in the quality of the video and the composition of the picture as a whole. So I highly recommend that if you can use the same or similar backdrop so that you're not only creating that consistency that we talked about in Ninja Tip number one, but it's easy to set up because if you know that the lighting is really good in this one particular area, then it eliminates that 
how am I gonna shoot and where am I gonna shoot in the setting up of the shooting. So my fifth ninja tip is to be sure that you know where the camera is and that you are looking at the camera. And I know that might seem really, really obvious, but test it out. <laughs> test out the sound, test out the video, test out to make sure that you're actually looking at the camera and connecting with the audience. Because when you aren't looking at the camera and there are times and places where that does work and I get it, sometimes you're gonna have to break like I just did and look up or look around or whatever that is. But you wanna keep that connection with the audience on the other side of the video. My sixth ninja's tip is get started. One of the biggest things that I hear excuses around is getting started with video. I don't have the right equipment. I don't know that I have the right lighting. I don't have the right insert, whatever it is around moving forward. And oftentimes, especially with video, a lot of objections come up around equipment and this and that and the other. And I will tell you that when I first got started with doing YouTube, I used my iPhone to record those videos. And even today, I still use my iPhone to record many of the videos that you see here on YouTube. Here's the thing, don't let your equipment be an excuse for not moving forward. Quality content outbeats production value every single day of the week. And so you can't get to your 100th video if you don't do your first. So get started with the equipment that you have today and stop with the excuses around why you can't move forward. So my seventh ninja tip for looking good on video is to create bullet points. Now you might be thinking, Jane, what does creating bullet points have to do with looking good on video? But oftentimes I find that people get themselves into a tickle or a pickle when they overscript their content and then they're sitting there on video reading through this script that they created when if they had created bullet points and really broken down the anatomy of that video content into bullet points and sub bullet points, they would much more naturally be able to deliver that content on video. And I have entire YouTube videos dedicated to how to create this long form content, how to create video content, and I'll be sure to link them there, but just know that having the bullet points kind of jotted down and mapped out will make a world of difference when it comes to delivering that content and looking really, really good on video. And my final ninja tip, ninja tip number eight, is be natural. <laughs> and I know that sounds so ironic, when it comes to being on video. But the, like I said earlier, the more that you do it, the more comfortable you are going to become. And one thing for me that I used as a technique when I was first getting started with video is I used it as a way in which to teach. And it was not about selling or getting people on my email list or anything like that. It was me just delivering value to my community. And that reframing really helped me to be able to deliver quality content to my audience over and over again, despite all the discomfort that I was feeling when it came to actually creating that video content. So the more that you do it, the more natural that you will become when it comes to speaking to the camera. But I always kind of like to think of it as teaching. And so that reframe helps me to feel more confident and feel more comfortable when it comes to video. And the good news is if you're creating something that's pre-recorded, there'll always be a few bloopers <laughs> along the way. And so that's okay. You can edit those bloopers out and then share them later on. And the more natural that you sound and the more little slip ups that you have, while it can, in some instances, if there's too much of that, take away from the content of the video, in many instances, it actually makes us seem more human, which is ultimately what our audience wants from us. So if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We put out new content every single Tuesday. And if you haven't already, please go grab my free training on how to create two weeks worth of social media content in under 30 minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a fantastic day.